we ended up taking on about 38 inches in the house and had to pretty much gut it. Um, that's where we are now is, is trying to dry out the home so that we can um, then spray for mold and spray for termites and then get the sheetrock back up again. Um, but we were gutted to the ceiling and lost most of everything, but, um, but I think I was one of the more fortunate people. I don't feel like a victim at all, but I, because I know so many more people who I feel are worse in worse positions than we are, they're still um, not in a, in, a, in a safe place. Some people have gone to live back in their homes, my staff members specifically. I have so many that are affected in several disciplines that are, um, you know, I had one person tell me they're living in a one-room apartment with 10 people and four dogs. And it's like, I think I'm going to go live back in my flooded home. And it's like, you can't. I appeal to those of you, if you're in health care, you have a sense of caretaking in your, in your heart um, to consider helping another health care community because we're the ones who have to take care of the people out there who are suffering. Um, the stronger we can be, the more we can help.